Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Kalax. I did what I'm pretty sure is all of them. Mm hmm. Are there some just not wiggling? Please go in the hole. Okay, that's all wiggling. Oh, of course, those thingies. Maybe now I can actually activate them now that those things are wiggling. Oh, that makes sense. Okay, cool. Crest is averted. I just did a little... Oh, of course, because they don't want to animate it. Uh-huh. Oh, this is a... This is a giant Wayne I'm on. Okay, now I'm curious to actually fight these things. Okay. Let's space shuriken this fat head. Oh. Let's try that, huh? Okay. Let's, uh... What does that do, man? Oh, it's paralysis. Let's... Alright, cool. Meat and juice box. Oh, it stops them in place. But we can still attack. Okay, um... <gasps> Shit, I just realized that I... By hitting right, I didn't actually move between characters. I skipped turns. God, that's... I just... It's my fault. I keep hitting it by mistake. Bring on the next one. Because up and down are how you navigate through menus. But it is, uh... Not how you do it here. Those guys aren't really that scary. And I think I'm wearing stuff that makes it so I don't... Let's start working on them. Someone's wearing something that makes it so they can't get paralyzed, which is good. Nice. Okay. So the interesting thing is, is that until I die next, uh, let's do two dark flames. Then you hit the manoops. Oh, it's mono ops. Like ops is an optical, like cyclops. And then mono for one, it just mono ops. It means one eye, that's... That's odd, but I like it. All right. I am a believer in the idea of the main character should always get the should always get the goodies because they're always in the party. Not that you can actually switch party members in this game. It's honestly so neat. Alright, bring it on.
like, the really funny thing about mono ops is that, like, no one ever says that word like that. That isn't how that word's pronounced. Like, it would be manoops, you know? It looks as though all of these are the same. I do want the the stat buffs from all of these. Man, this is weird. Practically pointless to say it at this point, but okay. Oh, they're doing little coin tricks with like a little loopy. Cool. Just keep snapping your fingers at him. Oh man, what a video game. Oh, over there is a little black and white one. Just like a... Uh, Like, what's his face? Um, Gibby and all of his guys are drawn like that. We just did 15 damage. Pongorma's dead. Does the mono ops just take. No, it's Data's Mole. Oh, right, because I accidentally changed his weapon over. And his new weapon is very underleveled. Did I really cook 24 burritos? Completes flesh points, but increases will. Interesting. Convert creatures into mightiness. I don't understand. I'm just gonna try that and see if it does anything. Next. So they take they take four attacks so everyone attacking as one can kill one in a single round Polis rate is really low health, so I could kill him in one. Which might be better for everything, but... Oh, that was more. I wonder why. Is that like a crit? Shit, I skipped turns. I guess I'm not so... happened to turn her so earlier if I hadn't uh, accidentally done that. There don't appear to be... Oh, this is, uh... This is Datusman's head. Operation requires the device of... Blue, blue was the heaven above me and the earth green at my feet. Oh, life, oh, life, I kept saying, and the very word seemed sweet. 
He became that guy. Your science doth luxuriously deceive our mandible, but someone hydrates your concavity far beyond ours. So we keep seeing the word mandible. Is that just one of the words in the random generation? Okay, so... Cool. And then this should be... Oh, this is a cone cultist. And he has the little peg in his foot. So yes, these these are action figures, or at least partially action figures. Tomb shrub. Okay. Bio wave. Oh, it reduces mightiness, huh? That's good. What? What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, that's what the sub shrub is. Oh god, and more show up every turn. Oh, well, we're dead. Jesus. Oh, well, that's fine. I had a lot of meat that I really wanted to turn in. See, look at that. 30 meat? You crazy? So let's see here. Time steals away like a stream, and we glide hence away, squish, squish. Okay. Uh, let's go to that TV downstairs. Uh, hello? Thanks again for the explosives. Oh, you're welcome, man. Okay. Give it to me. Calibration. Alrighty. Pardon me, sir. Pardon me. Oh, man. And then I think we're headed to this one? Gray. Oh shit, I just noticed that there's a fucking couch. Of course. <laughs> there's a couch in the afterlife. That's why I've been getting my ass kicked. Because I haven't been using the couch. Oh, brother. I, I did too much of this game when I just didn't understand the game mechanics. And then so like I went back and saw other things where I was like, uh-huh. But then I didn't know what it was, so... God. Foolhardy of me. Splorch. So it looks like it does the same thing that Dark Souls does, where if you quit and if you reload an area, dead enemies return to wherever they were. So we're gonna have to get up to that guy and kill him right quickly. Where does this go? This goes up there. Okay. I missed a paper cup. Interesting. Duck blade. Small chance of lowering the target's mightiness. Oops. Duck blade. And is it better than jolly damage? We haven't really seen jolly damage come up yet, huh? Okay. And then there's the tomb mold, or whatever he was. Um, Tomb Shrub, yeah. Why don't we just 
Nene on him. Just do all these things, huh? Partial destruct. 25 current health points. Let's try it. Partial havoc. Holy shit, those things have a lot of health. That's normal attack. And then that way we'll probably kill him. Oh boy. Oh my god, it's his current health. Of course. Uh, that guy needs a warm burrito. Oh boy, here we go. It's getting started in here. Oh, there he goes again. We've got 22 of the damn thing, so why not? There we go. So it just summons other shrubs, huh? To start oh it just keeps it keeps doing it though this is dangerous this is very dangerous maybe this will be enough to kill him though five thousand dollars and like eight vegetables cool Okay. Dark flame. Cool. That was a really good round. Nice. That went almost perfectly, in fact. Oh, my skin just, of course, it's as I suspected. And then we go to a different one. Huh. Okay, so it'll be the red gem on the right side. Rocket inside convexitus in another lard and another furnace. I've died a lot here. I call this place the Hall of Deadly Statues. I'm strengthening my leg muscles so I can run past them. <gasps> oh god. <laughs> I was just thinking, is anything weird, horrible, and scary gonna happen? Well, let's drop off this meat. Couch. Yep. Perfect. Amid the lilies floats the moth, and the mole along his galleries goeth in the dark earth. <laughs> so, here, right? I wonder if there's like a guide on how to get through this. Found some meat. Well, I'm dead now. So does that actually kill kill me, or does it just, like, hurt me? Oh, it doesn't. It's a little convenient. Shaves a little of the time off. Okay, so we don't need to go down. Let's go this way. The paper cup. Bless you, Mason Lindroth. Oh, God. Walked a little too far to the left. 
Pardon. All right. Um, back to the red. And then we'll go in here, but we'll head back. And then we can go back to that water cooler. I don't think this geography actually makes sense. Far be it for me to be like, hey, this game about weird psychedelic Frank Zappa nightmare monsters is a little geographically unsound, but I mean, you know. Twenty-five well, nice. I don't think I've missed any of the paper cups, which is nice. I'm probably going to go online and find out that there's like 30 of them. But luckily I was playing through this game on dumb baby mode. So I didn't have to worry about taking too much damage. And we're back. Alright. Into the void we go. So you can actually tell which one it's going to be because that's the one that has a little bit... Like he's inched out a little... Fuck. So we're going to have to like shimmy around them. Which doesn't appear to be too difficult. Because if we go here, then down. He's like stuck there. Okay, so not like that. Actually, it's been 22 minutes. Um, I'll just do it off camera. Uh, this has been Hylix. I hope you've enjoyed this chill, peaceful, very simple LP. Uh, have a good day. I've been Alfred. See ya.